Hi there, Simon from simonwood.com. Uh, I have three and a half semions from Australia. Maybe, well, we'll get on to why it's three and a half rather than four uh, when we get to the first wine. I've got three, hun three Hunter Valley Semions to finish with, uh, but the first one, well, we might as well start with the first one because that's the type of guy I am, um, and it's from Margaret River, and it's a Semion Sauvignon 2014 uh, Blind Spot, and Blind Spot is a label that's been uh, developed by the Wine Society um, for an, an, their own label, Australian range, if you, if you want to call it that. Not sure how much uh, Sauvignon is in here, but um, a bottle by Mac Forbes, a uh, well-known wine maker, uh, young, talented from the Yarra Valley, but this is what he's found from Margaret River. Let's give it a whirl. Now, sometimes these blends can be a little bit too catty and green peppery for their own goods. Good, but uh, here it feels like the Semyon's got a little bit of um, uh, guava-like fleshiness about it, uh, rather than green pea pod. Um, and so it feels like there's a little bit of like, slight, ever so slightly catty, citrusy Sauvignon kicking through. But um, yeah, it feels like it's going to have enough weight to carry those green flavours. Yeah, fresh, crisp, juicy. Um, and with that little bit of weight to uh, to make sure that you know you're drinking a wine rather than just something that is uh, a little bit um, like lemon, rather than just lemon juice. Um, and yeah, that slightly exotic edge comes through on the finish, slightly musky. Um, I like that. Nice stuff. Okay, on to the Hunter Valley, uh, and uh, two of the most famous names, really, uh, probably the most famous names in the Hunter Valley. I've got one wine from Tyrrell's and uh, two uh, from Williams, but we'll start with the Tyrrell's one. Uh, it's uh, Lost Block Semyon 2013. Let's give it a whirl. Uh, now, young Semyon from the Hunter can be a little bit of a butter clenching experience, but I, I stick my nose in here, and uh, what's the alcohol? 11.5%. Uh, um, yes, yeah, sometimes they, if they're down to 10, sometimes they even go below 10. But uh, I think it, it, there's this been move in the last 10 years or so to get them creeping up closer to 11. Sometimes they even hit a massive 12% alcohol. And I think uh, one of the reasons for that is when they were young, it was like drinking battery acid when they were so... Uh, they, I, I'm not quite sure when they're picking now as compared with uh, a few years ago. But uh, probably we're, we're looking at picking in February here rather than uh, maybe January uh, for, for some of those lower alcohol ones. And the consequence of that is you smell it now and it actually smells of something. It, it, there used to be a time where you sit your nose in and go spot the wine. Where is it? Here, uh, though, I'm getting this uh, slightly lemony, uh, yeah, lemony with a little bit of herb tinge in there. Uh, it still feels like it's young and close, but it um, it's not so anal retentive that you want to say come back tomorrow. So I'm going to come back today. And it's bracing and it's fresh, but it does have enough weight of flavour to uh, uh, to carry those to carry that acidity. Uh, there's this crisp vein of acidity and then this uh, fruit round it, bit of citrus, a little bit of the honey just starting, but I think that's going to uh, uh, get more and more with time. I mean, these are wines that that will go uh, go on and on. And um, it's looking really nice, actually. That It's, um, it's, it's more full than I was expecting. Uh, I suppose it is two years old now, but um, mm, tasty. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, um, well, I suppose I should do. Tyrrell's a, one of the classic Semyon producers. The other classic one is McWilliams. And um, these two wines here, I mean, it's the same wine, but um, six vintages apart. Uh, so the first one I've got is a tur the, there is the Mount Pleasant Elizabeth Semyon. Uh, first vintage I've got is 2013, and then they've got uh, the uh, cellar aged 2007. So I'll give the uh, 2013 uh, a whirl first, and um, let's see what we can see in terms of difference between them. Alcohol on this one, 11%. That little bit of lime juice, um, and there's a, a toasty character in there, which again is going to get stronger with time. No new oak anywhere near these. Yeah, and there's this um, sharpness of flavour, uh, but then rounded, rich, slightly honeyed, toasty, juicy. It's one of those, it, it, it gets your mouth, it gets the, um, uh, your saliva glands going, working overtime, and uh, Mm, lovely flavours, um, but uh, and also, I mean, approachable now. I, I don't think that uh, uh, a few years ago a two-year-old Elizabeth Semyon would have been given, g giving as much pleasure as that it is giving now. Bring it out now with your seafood, or wait for it for a few years and see if it turns into this one. 
Well, it's a bit of tasty at first. Anyway, this is the 2007, um, and uh, let's see how this is maturing. Don't know if you can tell from the colour, but it's um, it's it's a little bit more golden. Uh, it's still not uh, going into those orangey brown uh, characters, um, but also I uh, stick my nose in there and I get this really m more buttered toast character. It's almost as if the fruit has um, fruit's probably about the same level, but these extra characters, uh, the honey, the honeysuckle, those floral notes coming more to the fore, and this freshly buttered toast you know when you have those that, that that's bread that's got fl slightly fluffy bits and you put it in the toaster and they burn just a little bit too much and uh, you think well i'm not supposed to eat that but you do because it tastes so nice a uh, little bit of that going on mm. yeah fresh zippy zesty still eight-year-old wine um and um, still young vigorous uh, and then you get to the flavours, and the flavours are slowly rounding out. So you're getting this slightly, yeah, the toastiness. Um, people talk about lime custard, and there is this almost like a creaminess uh, coming through there. Very tasty. I, I think it's one of those wines that um, I, I serve the, these wines to people, and they say, oh, that's delicious. And some people go, find that just a little bit too sharp. I think part of the way the wines are made, let's see the alcohol on here. 11% again, um, they are always going to have this spine of zesty acidity. For some people, it's a bit too much, but for, for me and for a lot of other people, it's, uh, it's delicious. And uh, I want to drink rather a lot of this, so I might go away and do that. See you soon.